So if you've been hanging out with my brother and I in the Finnish Lapland, you know that we went to Sariselka, uh, which is actually a really small town. It is super compact. I will call it a strip, but it's more like this kind of semi-circle that you can drive in a total of five minutes. So I figured, what the heck, you know? If everybody's not going to go to Seti Selka, let's bring Seti Selka to you, right? So we can drive in five minutes. So if you want to actually see the entire town, you can drive with us. Um, Seti Selka actually only has about 400 people that live within the town. Uh, most people come either as tourists or from other neighboring towns and villages to work there. And by the way, this is the Arctic, so it's cold. Let's take a listen. All right, folks, I feel you. That is enough of that racket. Point well taken. We are north of the Arctic Circle. That means it's frigid. That means it's cold. So this is the North Village Shopping Center. You can't get groceries there, but you can get a lot of local goods. The local good I got was a snowmobile that tried to kill me. Long story short, I'm a city boy. We don't ride snowmobiles. I rode a snowmobile for the first time. In the darkness, in the wilderness, in the cold. I'm going fast. There's a tree in front of me. You get the point. Clearly I didn't kill myself because I'm narrating this story. So what is interesting about Sudi Selka is the fact that it's, I guess, not a circle, but a semicircle. You make a right, you make a right, you make a right, you make a right, four rights, in case you were counting, and you end up where you started. Uh-uh-uh, get those cold hands back out there. You got about another three minutes of work for Dad. Now you've already explored about half of Sadi Selka with us, and if you've noticed something, you've noticed that there's not a lot to Sadi Selka. Well, being 250 miles north of the Arctic Circle and being basically in the middle of nowhere means that this is an ideal place to hunt the Aurora Borealis. There's not a lot of light pollution, and you're north of the Arctic Circle. Now, if you notice, the weather this day wasn't too good, very overcast, not ideal Aurora Borealis hunting weather. But you're just going to have to tune in and see if we caught it. But in an ideal world, no clouds, no moon, great place to spot the northern lights. Oh my god, snowmobiles are everywhere. They are trying to hunt me down there in my dreams or in my nightmares. Of all the places that I've traveled to in the Arctic North, I have to say that Sadi Selka felt the most unique. Like, most places in the Arctic North feel very, like, almost like magical and isolated and edge of the earth. And Sadi Selka was definitely no exception. But, I don't know, maybe just because it is so small and so remote, it just felt somehow different. So if you're thinking about going to the Arctic North, I would definitely recommend checking out Sadi Selka. Plus, it's just cool to say the name Sadi Selka. Hey, I'm going to Sadi Selka. Can't beat that. So we actually stayed here at the Holiday Club Sadi Selka. After going to our initial uh, apartment accommodation, we were like, uh-uh, not going to do it. So we fled in the middle of the night to the comfort of the Holiday Club. We'll talk a little bit about it in our blog. And in the words of boys to men, although we've come to the end of the road, judge if you will, I'm a doctor, not a singer, and I just love 90s R&B. All right, guys, we made that 22-hour three-flight journey, so you can see it all in five minutes. You're welcome. Thanks for hanging out with us in Sadi Selka.